Hello again. It's Friday, December 16th, 2022. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. On Wednesday, the Allegheny County Covington Sheriff's Office recognized four deputies with awards for valor for their performance during the events of March 14th at the Covington Farm in Fuel, which resulted in three local deaths. Corporal Sierra Cosby, Corporal Philip Lewis, Deputy Joshua LaPrade and Sergeant Jeremy Morse were on hand for the ceremony. A complete video of the event is now available on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. The Covington Car Company's newly revitalized facility on Valley Ridge Road was the scene of a pleasant ribbon-cutting ceremony yesterday. Several local officials and several others turned out for the event. Company President Penny Weatherall gave the crowd a bit of background on the operation and thanked all for their cooperation. She noted that the business goes out of its way to treat people as they wish to be treated. There's much more about all this right now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. You know, it's really amazing that Santa finds a way to get to so many local places so often during this special time of year. And he did so once again at the Clifton Forge Police Department on Wednesday night. Area kids and their parents showed up for a free toy and also had jolly old St. Nick on the scene to take their requests as well. And now a word from our sponsor. Members of the public may not be aware of the time and dedication it takes from area student singers to participate in a local choir, let alone excel in doing so. Those selected to participate in district choir will join others from both Bath County and Rockbridge County for a January performance. Here are the Covington High School, Allegheny High School, and Clifton Middle School singers who were chosen after auditions were held. The Omni Homestead Hotel has finally finished the renovations at the Warm Springs Pools. They will once again be operational on Saturday, December 17th after a big investment and renovations funded by the hotel. For many more details about all this, log on to AlleghenyJournal.com. And we'll be right back. And now for regional obituaries. Kathleen O'Connor, 90 of Clifton Forge, died Saturday. Leonard Mann Jr., 70 of Covington, died Tuesday. Alton Massey, 81 of White Sulphur Springs, died Tuesday. Grace Holstein, 63 of Buena Vista, died Monday. Danny Grimm Sr., 72 of Millboro, passed away on Thursday. Darren Scott, 58 of White Sulphur Springs, died Wednesday. And Christopher West, 48 of Natural Bridge, passed away on November 22nd. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 41 and a low of 26. And on Sunday, partly cloudy, high of 35 and a low of 22. And on Monday, partly cloudy, high of 41 and a low of 26 degrees. 
And that's the way it is on Friday, December 16th, 2022. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.